So today, we are making what I consider to be one of Spain's best kept recipes. Like seriously, not only is this dish unknown outside of Spain, but most people in Spain have never even heard of it as it hails from the very small town of Juzcar, which is tucked away in the mountains in the beautiful province of Malaga. Anyways, the dish we're making is a Spanish egg bread skillet. This is known in Juzcar as Salta Bayao. And let me tell you, this skillet is filled with so many beautiful textures and flavors. It's made with the humblest ingredients, and it's all done in just 30 minutes. Folks, this is the perfect dish for any meal of the day as it's packed with nutrients and it's gonna give you the energy to tackle on this thing that we call life. Really quick before we begin, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Barbara Eastman, Karen Bird, Jim Schaller, Uncle Bud, and Sean Murphy. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. All right, let's start by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna cut four slices from a baguette. that are one inch thick, which is about two and a half centimeters. And then we'll cut each piece of baguette into six evenly sized pieces. Then I'm gonna roughly chop one medium sized onion, thinly slice four cloves of garlic, cut two green bell peppers that have been washed and patted dry into small bite sized pieces, and finally grate four tomatoes to end up with about one cup of tomato sauce, which is 250 grams. You can substitute this for the same amount of canned tomato sauce, pasata, or even Spanish tomate frito. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the pieces of baguette and we'll mix them around. That way they're coated in that olive oil. And we're gonna go for about three to four minutes here or until the pieces of bread are beautifully golden fried. Once the pieces of bread are golden fried, we'll remove them from the pan and set them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add another two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which once again is 30 milliliters. Then we'll immediately add in the chopped onion, chopped green bell peppers, and the sliced garlic. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And since we cut them into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there every minute or so, that way everything evenly sautés. After about four to five minutes, and the vegetables are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is 1.15 grams, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about half a gram. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way that paprika and thyme are evenly coating all the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika that I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below. And if you buy from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in the grated tomato. And we'll season everything with sea salt. Freshly cracked black pepper and a kiss of white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything's well mixed together, and then simmer it for a couple minutes. After about four to five minutes, and the grated tomato has slightly thickened up, I'm gonna add in the pieces of fried bread back into the pan, and half a cup of vegetable broth which is 120 milliliters. Traditionally, chicken broth is used to make this recipe, but you can go either way. And we'll give it one final mix and bring the mixture to a boil. Once the mixture comes to a boil, it's time to add in the eggs. Now, before I add them into the skillet, I like to crack each one into individual bowls. This ensures that no eggshells go into your skillet and that the egg yolks are not broken. And we'll gently add the eggs into the skillet, making sure to evenly spread them out.
Then we'll season the eggs with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Place a lid on the pan and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're going to cook this for another 3 to 5 minutes or until those eggs are perfectly cooked through. Once the eggs are cooked through, I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and we'll sprinkle it with some finely chopped fresh parsley. Check it out, our Spanish egg bread skillet is done. Once again, this is known in Spain as salta bayao. Beautiful presentation, easy to make, and all done in just 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, time for the moment of truth. Let's see how the skillet turned out. You know, wow. And this is my favorite part about Spain on a Fork. It's finding these unknown recipes and sharing them with you. And this one right here stands out above the rest. So many amazing flavors. Hard to believe that we used uh, the most basic and humble ingredients, folks. Give this a try at home. Once again, doesn't matter what meal of the day. It is so good that I promise it's going to completely blow you away. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way you can get notified every time I release new content. Till the next time, hasta luego. It's a wrap and it's absolutely insane. Uh, to what I did forget to mention is the, the village of Juzcar is also known as El Pueblo de los Pitufos, a Smurf village, because all their houses are painted in that beautiful blue color. Check it out. You're going to absolutely love it. Hasta luego.